Let's talk about the difference between a calibratable pressure gauge and a non-calibration gauge. This gauge here, you'll see, has a little dial. You can see it a little bit better there. That is a calibration dial to where you're actually able to adjust the reading on this pressure gauge. It's real simple to do that. Just isolate the gauge, take it off, let it be open to air. It should read down at zero. If it doesn't, you can turn your dial to calibrate it in and, and, and tune it into that zero. And then if you have one, like this one, for example, Example. This is a bad gauge. We tried to calibrate it and it, it's it's froze up. It's gotten stiff. It's not working properly. It would not calibrate. In that case, it needs to be replaced altogether. But then you also have another type like this one. There's no adjustment on here. So there's two types of calibratable valves we run into the most. You'll have a little dial like this one does or in the center of the indicator pin, there'll be like a little cross hash. You can put a, a flathead screwdriver in. You can calibrate via that as well so you'll have possibly two different points of calibration depending on the style of pressure gauge you'll look at this one it has neither of those so you have no point of calibration on this type of gauge that's just it is what it is uh, if this gets out of calibration it needs to be replaced that's the difference those are one of the things we need to look for if you have the ability try to do your calibrations if you don't then they just need to be recommended because it is important to have accurate readings on this stuff